there are only two superpowers who have soft landing on the moon. And we think it's about time for a change. The Israeli space industry had to cooperate with a lot of things that other countries didn't have to cooperate. All the countries that launched the rocket, they launched it uh, towards the east from left to right. On our east, we have neighbors that might not uh, appreciate we're launching rocket in their direction, so we have to go the other way around. Since we cannot utilize the rotation of the Earth for our advantage, we need to uh, put extra fuel in the rocket. So this actually makes the rocket bigger or, or the payload smaller. Because we're so small, we don't need a big rocket to take it all the way to the moon. We're hitching a ride, we're going up as a secondary to and others to commercial satellites, uh, getting a ride to space. From there onwards, we're using our own propulsion system to travel all the way to the moon and uh, we're using cutting-edge uh, technology to do so, and most of it is developed in Israel. We want to use this landing on the moon to ignite the imagination of a generation, to go ahead and be rocket scientists and engineers instead of dreaming about being rock stars and celebrities. I'm building a spacecraft that's going to go for the moon. I mean, how many people can say that?